Hello guys, how are you? Everything is going well for you today. I had my first public speaking. I was doing okay actually. I was a bit emotional. I was a bit nervous, but everything gone well. Today's topic is what are we or who are we? And I believe that this is a critical question to ask yourself, who are you? Because the more that you look towards the, within yourself, you will realize that you are maybe nothingness. Maybe you are only the observer of your own thoughts. Maybe you are the master that sits and sees reality in an objective way. You are your own master. You are your own um, poet. You are your own guide. Uh, the truth is that we are multidimensional beings. We are multidimensional beings having a human experience. And this experience is subjective in a way. You have your own reality. I have my own reality. But at a, at a soul level, we are all connected. We are all connected through our emotional field. We are all connected to the fact that there is something out there. And this kind of duality that there is something out there versus there is nothing out there uh, creates duality, like I said. So this is the duality, right? But each time that you choose to go beyond duality, you will realize that the left and right meet at the same point. That the opposites are the same in nature, only different in grade. So the opposites are same in nature. Just a second. Something is pissing me off. This, I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna murder this. So everything may be relative in the universe. Your existence is yours to, to be experienced. Each time you are choosing to move to the next level naturally, because life is happening naturally through you, each time you choose to look towards within yourself and ask yourself big questions like who am I or what am I and one of the, answer, of the answers of the question what am I is the fact that we are energy. We are energy, frequency and vibration. And the universe is always responding to you. The universe is always responding to your own vibration, to your own thoughts. Therefore, you attract how you feel, right? You always attract how you feel. And uh, uh, at a subconscious level, you have all the information that you have lived in this lifetime or maybe in past lifetimes, right? So at a subconscious level, you are really potent. And the more that you grow your conscious, the more that information from the unconscious or from the subconscious starts to become conscious. And the moment that you do this through meditation, through eating healthy, through sports, through movement, the moment that you choose to move, you will realize that you are actually a complete powerful being. And uh, the universe goes on forever. So it's like space is infinite. Time is eternal. And we are beautiful beings. So the moment that you choose to look within yourself, the moment that you choose to look into your infinity is when you realize that, wow, this life may be a dream. This life may be a dream where I can do whatever I wish. So we live in some sort of a simulation. Your spirit guides may be speaking to you, to you uh, regarding your thoughts. They may be giving you information through thoughts. But let's not go too far. So let's come back to this question of who am I? So your identity says that you have a name, you have an age and you have an experience. But I strongly, strongly believe that you are none of this. You are the infinite consciousness that is moving through the universe. Right? I just read uh, in a book today that there would be no outer universe if we wouldn't exist. So there would be no out there if there were, if there it wouldn't be in here. So the in here creates the out there each time. So ask yourself big questions like who am I? And uh, let the answer come from within. Because you are not your name, you are not your nationality, 
you are not your age, you are not anything. All you are is the observer of life, of the observer of each moment. And uh, one advice that I would have for you is to stop reacting to everything. Is to stop reacting to everything and go do what you love. Go do what, what you came here to do. For you it may be painting, reading, being a public speaker, doing videos maybe, um, moving into your body. All, of, all, all these things are here, to help, are here to help you. The moment that you become creative is the moment that you let go of yourself. And how, what, it, what does it mean to let go of yourself? Is to stop being so rough on yourself. To really awaken to the energies that are within. And what happens when you awaken to the energies that, that are within? You start to awaken to a new reality. And each moment is a new reality. Each moment is a new reality for you to grow, expand and become infinite. You are already infinite. But the mind creates illusions, right? The mind always creates illusions. Illusions that say, I, I want more. I am not enough. I am not good enough. I don't respect myself. I don't love myself. I can't do this. I can't do that. And from my own experience, when you are not feeling ready to do a thing, it's because you are not vibrationally matched to do that thing. Your vibration is not yet matched to do that thing. So raise your vibration first, then start operating, then start creating. Because contemplating happens before you take action. So first start contemplating, start contemplating, start meditating on the things that you want to attract, right? And then go for it. And then go for it. You are loved, you are appreciated. Each moment is a new reality, guys. Each moment there is a new... They say that the same, the same man doesn't pass the same river twice because the river is changed and the man is changed. You are changing each time. So change is the only constant in the, in the world. And you are honestly a multidimensional being going on forever into the universe as energy you are energy, everything is energy actually. You are going on forever into the universe and it is your duty to awaken yourself to the, to the reality that you want to create. Okay, this is it for today. I appreciate you guys. Namaste.